Here we have 6.4 simplifying a sum or difference of radical expressions multivariate. So simplifying as much as possible. So we're going to do everything exactly the same. The only thing different is that you have some other variables. We have u's and y's, but it still all works the same. So I'm going to do the 24. That's 2 times 12, 2 times 6, 2 times 3. These are all primes. And I'm going to keep my u there. Now because it's a square root, I need a pair. So there's my pair of 2's. And then these don't have a pair, so I'm just going to put both of them together in their own separate um, square root. Then I'm going to have u to the 1 over 2 and y to the 2 over 2. So all of this is just for this first square root. Then I'm going to hit the minus symbol. Then I have the 6y already there. You can break up 6, but all it breaks up to is 2 and 3. And there's no pairs, so you're just going to have the 2 and the 3 together in the square root. And then the variable is going to be u to the 3 over 2. So here the 2 is going to come out of there. These guys are going to stay, so just multiply them together. This guy is going to go back into its square root form. And 2 over 2 does go in one time. Here you have 6y. You're going to multiply those two back together. Here though you get u to the one with one left over. So three halves is the same as one and a half. Then now you're gonna multiply all of your outsides together. So two u, y, and then your insides together. So six u. Here you're gonna multiply all your outsides together. So I get six u, y again in alphabetical order. And then the insides. Now remember, this is, this guy here is the square root of u. So when I say insides, I mean this inside and this inside. And that's going to give you square root of 6u. Now notice that they both have the square root of 6u, and they both have u to the first power and y to the first power. So these are like terms. This is the part that they have like. That's the like term part. So I know my answer is going to have all of that in it. I just need to figure out what the coefficient is going to be. And 2 take away 6 of these things is going to be a negative 4 of them. And so this is the final response there. So they get a little heavy as far as you're simplifying those radicals, but once you have those radicals simplified, if the variables on all the outside if the exponents on all the variables outside the square root match and what's inside the square root matches completely, then you can combine those like terms.